most people come to cannabis with some kind of background. They've heard about it, they've read about it, they've smelt it, they've seen it, they've had kids who've used it. I mean, everybody seems to have some story to tell around cannabis. At least three of our living presidents likely or admittedly had experience with cannabis. We've got to recognize that it is our birthright and we have to stop asking for permission where none is required. One of the reasons why I fight is I'm tired of the stigma associated with medical marijuana that all patients are using it as just an excuse to get high and that it really isn't medicine. I, I, I think there's a lot of hubris in our medical community that they don't believe in the efficacy of marijuana and the only reason they don't is because they haven't been properly taught or trained on it. We're trained to deal with FDA approved meds that have gone through the proper drug development process so when it comes to some kind of green leafy substance it just conjures up all kinds of fears and, um, and a lack of expertise. WebMD just did a survey of 1,500 physicians in 48 states and among those physicians 68% believe that cannabis has medicinal benefit. People know, people know that cannabis works and they want to have access to it. Medicine should not be dictated to me simply because my doctor doesn't believe in it. We've got to wake up and recognize that the government that was founded in America was designed merely to protect life, liberty, and property, not to criminalize things that were created for our use and benefit. It should be treated like a botanical, like echinacea or saw palmetto or milk thistle, but it should be regulated like tobacco or alcohol. We as citizens of the United States need to uh, address this question about cannabis legalization with anybody we send to Washington. The representatives and the senators that go to Washington should be clear in their uh, understanding and belief of what what we should do with cannabis. And eventually whole plant medicine will be put through the proper drug development process and we will be able to offer whole plant marijuana to sick patients in this country. My son Landon was diagnosed with leukemia at two and a half years old. He could no longer walk or talk and we found cannabis 11 months with no maintenance chemotherapy. Cannabis is a Schedule I drug. Schedule I drugs are drugs that have been deemed by Congress the most dangerous drugs. Who actually defines the schedule are DEA. You know, these are law enforcement professionals. They're not medical professionals. More people get busted for marijuana every year than all the other drugs combined. We've criminalized the healing. I live in fear every day of my life that someone's gonna come take my child away for saving his life because I did it with a plant. It just hurts my heart when I think about all the people in prison for utilizing this plant, harming no one. People clearly recognize its usefulness in seizure disorders, especially in children that have no other alternative. We can never see her eyes before because they're always shut because she was in a seizure. She was over two to three hundred a day. And some of them very small, some of them lasting over 20 minutes in length. There's this phobia about kids and the idea that even a few little particles of cannabis would put them at risk. Cannabis may be among the oldest medicines used by humans, going back to the ancient Chinese, uh, ancient India. But about 1990, it was discovered that we have endogenous cannabinoids, cannabinoids within. We need to re-educate the public on drugs because they've already received an education. They've just received a completely invalid education based on propaganda. Leading medical researchers are coming to the conclusion that marijuana, pot, grass, whatever you want to call it, is probably the most dangerous drug in the United States and we haven't begun to find out all of the ill effects, but they are permanent ill effects. The entire war on marijuana is fabricated. The government is convincing the general population that this is dangerous when it's not. And I'm appalled at 
are law enforcement officers who believe that they know better than medical doctors or scientists how people should treat their own health. I'm a cancer doctor and oncologist and I see patients benefiting from cannabis every day. For most cannabis specialists, chronic pain is the largest problem for which cannabis is used. Three years ago, I was involved in a car accident. The woman that hit us ran a red light. Instantly, I had internal bleeding, multiple muscle tears throughout my entire back, shoulders, upper lower back. Because I have so much allergies to opiates, I wasn't able to take anything. They, they pretty much gave me a leave and sent me home. I had no way of dealing with the pain because of my sensitivities to opium. Opioids are valuable for pain management but they're also not without risks of lethal effects. Nobody has ever overdosed from any use of cannabinoids. I was introduced to CBDs. It knocked out 75% of my muscle spasms. I was able to write things. I was coherent and focused. I really wished I would have known about the CBDs earlier. Pain is well treated with cannabinoids and I've seen so many patients get off of opiates altogether. My daughter Dahlia was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer at the age of two. We underwent several life-threatening surgeries. Had I said that I wanted to forego chemotherapy, the state would have taken custody of my daughter. We like to say that our children don't die from toxicity, from chemotherapy anymore here in America, but the truth is, is every baby that I've met that died, at least 90% of them died from the side effects. Something to do with the treatment of the disease and not the disease itself. These are the meds that Dahlia was once on. Any one of these drugs has three pages worth of very dangerous side effects. And to see her happy and healthy and interactive and playing like an everyday normal three-year-old. That's the only thing in the world that a mother ever needs to see to be 100% convinced. We're at a point in history where we're rethinking the role of cannabis in human society and I think we're just scratching the surface.